Okay, so today we're talking about interview outfits that are not only comfortable, but totally appropriate and fitting your style. Here I've got a basic button down with a really great pant. I bought this pant off season on sale at The Limited. It's a polyester and spandex blend with only 4% spandex. So it's form fitting, but it's also very comfortable. That polyester isn't gonna crease or wrinkle on you and the pant does have a very slight flare, which complements where I carry my weight on my body. Now I really, really love this. I'm actually using the same classic button down, but I'm pairing it with a pencil skirt. This is a plaid design. It's actually more or less a seersucker material. So it's again, not incredibly starchy cotton that's gonna leave a bunch of creases. It's not satin, which is gonna wrinkle, um, but it's just a real nice flattering pencil skirt, which makes me really comfortable because it kind of hides my tummy area, but it also shows that, you know, I do have a little bit of a figure without being aggressive about it. You don't wanna show up to an interview and be like, check me out, I'm the hottest girl in the room because that's just awkward for everyone. And I wanna point out this shirt. I did get the shirt and the pencil skirt at the uh, New York & Co store. I love, love, love these shirts because it has that added little snap right where the breasts are. So I'm not blessed in the breast area, but I still don't want that puckering in that area. And it just is very flattering and it lays really nice and flat. And I actually have this exact shirt in several colors from them. So just watch for when they go on sale. Now accessories are really, really important. And I'm not trying to be a valley girl when I say that, but the key is you don't wanna subtract away from what you're saying and all of your skills and expertise. This necklace is okay, but it does hit a little low. I also have paired my outfits with a watch that kind of matches everything. And then just a really subtle bracelet, gold and rose are in right now. And then I also did get a manicure, not required, but maybe just a clear coat to kind of make you look nice and clean and polished. I don't wear a ton of makeup and an interview is not the time to be putting on makeup for the first time that week or month. So I just have a really simple no transfer mascara, meaning that there won't be black goop under my eye and the moisturizer, tinted moisturizer that you saw was actually Laura Mercier. So that tinted moisturizer is really, really subtle, but it does give me a polished look. And then this black mascara doesn't leave, you know, that black shadow that transfers down under your eye if you have maybe like a lot of oil in your makeup or just oily skin. The other thing that you really wanna pay attention to is your purse. So if you don't have a purse, you can't afford to get a purse to go with your interview outfit, just don't bring it in with you. I've seen so many people show up to interviews, they look great, their outfit's great, their hair's neatly tied back, and their purse is just ratty or it's not appropriate. So I got both the watch and the purse out of utility. The purse was great for carrying everything that I needed to get around downtown Denver. And the watch was so that I could discreetly check the time to make sure that I was on time in case a clock was invisible. And it's much more discreet than trying to whip out your cell phone, which is so rude in an interview. Next up, we've got shoes. These were a terrible walking choice, but would be great for just a quickie interview or maybe just like a quickie lunch. Um, these were better. They do have an ankle strap, which leads to more support, but the heel was so high, they were also not great walking shoes. Now, this other brand, all three were bought at Payless, but this is a brand that Payless carries, and you can go online and order any color, any shape that you possibly could like imagine, and that's just really great because they're so comfortable. Last but not least, don't be caught empty-handed without a notebook. I bought this one to take down notes from the interviewees and the recruiters that I was meeting with. Um, feedback is great and you want to be able to enact on that feedback and then include that in any thank you note or follow up message that you include just thanking them for their time and their expertise. And finally, I did buy a steamer through Amazon. This was less than $30 and it just plugs in. It's not got a lot of power, but it's just what you need to kind of straighten out your shoulders and your arms on your button down. Or if you've got some really wrinkly pants, it's gonna help you in a bind. So definitely invest, that's the brand. Okay, so whether you're due for just a completely new interview outfit or you need a few pieces, here's a recap of where I got everything. Remember, in an in-person interview, the most important thing is to leave an impression by the words that you choose, highlighting your expertise and your overall can-do attitude. So best of luck to you if you're interviewing now or in the near future and let me know how it goes. Thanks, bye.